Welcome back to SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant Badass. Today we're going to continue the bug out, the Boss Bug Out Bag series. Ah, it's hard to say that. I bet you can't say that like six times, like really fast. So we're doing this because if you go to Stanford Outdoor and Supply and you look at their kits, their kits are affordable and you can put them all together into a bug out bag and it would be perfect. Okay, and that's the reason why I'm doing it. I wanted one for myself because that's just how I am and I, I had to build this kit and it's it's affordable it's cheap but not cheaply made right so I've got all these cool ideas for this kit from knives and things like that that I've got coming it's it's another thing and I'm even gonna do some firearms for it and stuff like that but today I've got a kit over here that's kinda questionable and I I want to see what's inside and I want you guys to come along with me because I'll know what all this stuff is and I can put it all together for you and make heads or tails of it but that's the back side of it and it says here it's fishing and hunting and it's 127 pieces alright let's get over here take a look first we have to sit and stare at it I'm I'm just kidding. I'm not I'm not going to do it to you. <laughs> Let's rip it open. All right. So it says here we've got one folding multi tool. We've got uh, slingshot ammo. We've got six uh, screw eyes, floats, jig heads, slingshot band, zip ties, snare wire. Safety pins, razor blades, all sorts of stuff. It's it's a long list of stuff. I'll figure out what it is as it comes across. Probably easier to cut this open. I'm wasting your time. Stuff so badass. You are wasting my time. Alright, get that out of here. What's in this thing? Hmm. Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. Now this is not slingshot ammo. This is something else. All right, I'll look that up in a minute. All right, there's that. I'm. This is going to be one of those ones. I'm going to have to pull it out and go through each one, see what it is, to make sure we know what this is. It's a stringer. We all know what that is. This is the fishing hooks. There's some zip ties to smell out with. How many fishing hooks does it say we get? Because it says here. You get, there's your swivels, there's your 30 hooks, you get 20 swivels, and you get, well that's the pound test line, and it says you get artificial grubs, I'm not sure what this is, so I, that does not look like slingshot ammo, but I'm pretty sure there, there is some in here, but in here you've got your artificial artificial stuff. There's your swivels. There's the swivels you get. Now you can use those swivels with these hooks and make all kinds of fishing snares. Tons of fishing snares with all this. That's 30 fishing snares right there. Plus you get weights. Everybody knows lead weights are not cheap. So there's all your weights. Here's just some zip ties. I want to move those out of the way. Put the bag out of the way. Okay, there's your artificial grubs. It says there's hunting in here too, so I'm just curious. Now, if anyone knows how to make a... This is something really cool. If anyone knows, you can take these uh, these eyelets, they, they screw in, and you can get a, a uh, limb, a broken limb or whatever, and screw these into it and run your line, fishing line, through it and build yourself a makeshift fishing pole. You use these two L brackets, one goes forward, one goes backwards, and you wrap your fishing line around it, and it works like a rod and reel. It's really cool, but I'm pretty sure, since they are such a cool company, they probably have an instruction sheet in here. And it's probably right in rain, just like I said the other one was. But there's your, there's your instruction sheet. I'm going to get the rest of this stuff out of here. I just want to, I want to move this over real quick. Yeah, and that shows you how to skin a squirrel, and it shows you how to make a slingshot, 
and it tells you how to make a fishing snare. Go look at that. Oh, that's a, just a regular snare. I'm pretty sure they've got the fishing snare in here, too. It's got fishing, and it's got the yo-yo. It's got trot lines, making a fishing pole, and stringing up. But this snare, this technique here, instead of using it to make a regular snare, you just run that portion into the water. It works the same way. It's just a fishing snare. And yes, this is right in rain. Pinch it on right in rain water. Yep, it says it right there. Right in rain. So they give you an instruction sheet, and this is your uh, this is your bank line you get. And that's like how many feet did it say it gives you that? There's your that's a twenty. Okay, so that's your pound test. Dang, that's crazy. Okay, so they give you, there's so much in here, it's really hard. you got to go through this stuff really carefully. So they give you, there's your snare wire. Here's your snare wire right here so you can make snares. And then there's your fishing go-go. Let's just get that out of the way so I know what that is. And, and there's your 50-pound uh, test. That's 100 yards of 50-pound test. That's really nice. So they give you that. And then they give you, there's your snare wire, safety pin, screws, 100 yards of 8 pound test. Okay, so that's 8 pound test. And then they give you 50 pound test. There's your 50 pound. Okay, and then there's your, okay, and then there's your floaters. Okay, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot, man, going through this. Okay, what we got here? Okay, that's the rest of it. All right, here's my slingshot. That's that's your slingshot right there. You got a slingshot here, and you just you can tie that up and make yourself something. There's your slingshot ammo. Okay, and as you were to a while ago, there's your 50 feet. That's your trot line. That's your that's your 50 pound. Uh, your 50 pound line. Okay, so you've got your 50 pound line. Man, it's insane. All the stuff that comes with this. So. Someone has built you, all right, so these are your, this is bait. I knew this was bait when I when I saw this. I, I didn't want to, because you've got your, your artificial grubs, and then you've got your salmon eggs. Wow, they're right there. It's salmon eggs. Okay, got it. That is insane. Okay. They always surprise me when I get to looking at this stuff. They literally think of everything. So we've got a slingshot. Now this is supposed to be a multi-tool. Let's see what this is. Comes with a little pouch and everything. Oh snap, look at that. So now I've got a little multi-tool. Like a little key ring style multi-tool. Alright, so we've got... I'm pulling this all out. I want you guys to see this stuff. So there's your... It's a little stiff. Alright, there's your, your uh, Phillips... Okay, there's your little pocket knife portion of it. What else we got here? There's your, I'm assuming that's your flathead right there. Yeah, that's a flathead. I'll go ahead and bring that one up. I don't want to cut my finger off. There's your file. They're a little stiff, you know. I mean, you could move them around a little bit and it would work better, right? Bring this guy around here. It, the point is that it being stiff like this, you know it's not going to break. Okay, so it's spring-loaded. And it comes apart. Does that's, that's great. And then now you got your wire cutters, and you've got a placement there so you can bend wires. So if you're working with your snare wire, you've got a placement for that to actually go through. So baiting, hooking, doing all that trash. You know you got to get the hook out of a fish mouth. You know all that kind of trash. So you got all that stuff set up, and you got your knife. You got your Phillips and flat head. You've got your file. You got all that stuff right there. You've got spring loaded. Spring loaded mini multi tool, right? That's super minty. Super mini. 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 There we go. Alright, so yeah, you get all this. So there's your there's your ball bearings. And there's your slingshot stuff. You got everything you need to make a uh, fishing pole and they even give you a razor blade they, they threw the razor blade it's actually in there too and you've got 
clothes pins and stuff like that you can use for different things but you get your lead weights and uh, hey if fishing ain't going so good lead weights plus slingshot and you got all your all your fishing hooks swivels grubs uh, your uh, uh, that's for your uh, throwing your fish back in the water ordeal and that's it that's a good deal though I mean I think it's actually less less than 19 bucks I think it's less than 19 bucks don't quote me on that but a lot of the the smaller kits are usually around 17 bucks so I don't want to lie and say it's 17 bucks and you go there and be like oh curse you but it's roughly about 17 bucks on average and it comes with your instruction sheet for survival once again so if you put together all these kits I'm just throwing this out there you put together all the kits and you take all your little instruction sheets from each and every one of the, I got every one of them and I'm going to be showing every one of them I've already done the uh, uh, the fire in the water and now we're on to the fishing and hunting so fishing and hunting's out of the way now so I've got those other two kits and I've gotten this one out of the way so now next up we've got navigation and we've got uh, uh, shelter so those two other kits I'm not sure I think there might be one. Oh yeah okay we did the medical kit too so we did the medical kit and we got it out of the way so each one of the kits come with comes with a diagram you put all that stuff together you got writing rain paper so you can tell a story about your life you know you're talking instead of talking to Wilson the whole time you know your uh, your volleyball or whatever uh, beach ball I don't know whatever you decide it is but you're talking to Wilson right instead he's not listening so you start writing this stuff down and you've got a place to write on your stuff and you've also got something you can read reading material and I guarantee you in a survival scenario you'll be so good at this stuff you'll you'll be able to write a book when you come home right right <laughs> alright for those of you that were curious and wanted to know what was inside of it that's it and that would take care of fishing and hunting it makes shift hunting snares you've got enough wire here to go for a while with some snares and uh, using using most of this stuff as much as you can fishing snares would be the way to go to be honest with you if you want my opinion I would do fishing snares and you you set them up you leave them and then you go and do all the other things you need to do at that point in time you could start doing your hunting and gathering uh, that way so you've got some fishing things going on and then you got some hunting things going on at the same time you know people out there that think you know bringing like one trap with them is enough no one trap ain't even getting you started you know what's better than one trap two what's better than two traps six eight maybe fifteen you know what's better than fifteen traps thirty you know me personally you want to have as many traps going as possible if you can throw out a hundred traps trap setups you know fishing from fishing snares to snares to all your other traps that are laid out throughout the woods and stuff like that you're going to want to put out as much stuff as possible because it's it you'd be amazed it's not as easy as people think it is you know those of the those that have tried it like me and some of my friends have tried it it doesn't always happen just like that it's not that fast anyway so when you get started doing it keep doing it and move your traps around if they ain't working if they if you go back you know later on and see that you didn't get nothing it's time to regroup and move it someplace else or try something different right all right, you're watching SOS. I'm Stop Sergeant Badass. Have a beautiful, fantastic, fabulous, rainbow, unicorn, pony kind of day. Take it easy. God bless.